Welcome to The Vest Tiny House, a modern, minimalist Airbnb that's only 450 square feet of living space. Let's go check this place out. This video is sponsored by Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter from Monday to Saturday. Before subscribing to Morning Brew, I used to make coffee in the mornings and browse aimlessly on social media, but now I really love starting my mornings with Morning Brew. It gets me up to speed on the news in like five minutes. I don't have cable for news or anything like that, and that can be very boring. So Morning Brew gets me my news very quickly and very informative and in a very fun way. One thing that caught my attention today actually is about Disney Plus and how they already have 100 million subscriptions in just 16 months, where as Netflix took them like six years to get to that point. So there's really no reason to not subscribe to Morning Brew. It literally takes less than 15 seconds. So click the link down in the description if you want to sign up for Morning Brew. This beautiful Airbnb is located in Cleveland, Tennessee, really close to Chattanooga, Tennessee, or the Smoky Mountains. There's lots of things to do in the area, but I'm going to be taking you a tour of this tiny house that is actually attached to the back of the owner's home. The owner just renovated the back of her home to make this a tiny house Airbnb. And whenever you arrive here, you have your own parking spot. You start with the welcome sign and then you continue up the walkway into your patio area and this is where you enter your tiny house. On your patio area, you have a gorgeous view of the backyard and you have a small fire pit right on your patio. This is a solo stove, I believe. It is really handy and neat because they're so little and compact, but you can put wood in here and have a small little fire and they actually provide s'mores for you. So you can have some s'mores out here on your patio and your little mini fire. You know, just because you're not out in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean you can't have some s'mores or some cozy fire in your trip. So it's really cool that they included that here. And then you just walk right in to your tiny house and this is a very clean and open space. The host told me that she added some windows in this back space and opened it up to make it more bright and airy feeling and to make the space feel a lot larger than what it is. I know what you might be thinking, that's that this place is huge and massive, there's no way this is a tiny house, or that it's 450 square feet. That does include the loft space. I would consider anything below 600 or 500 square feet a small home or specifically a tiny house because at least here in America, homes don't really get that small. So it's definitely a smaller living space. Below 300 square feet is like tiny, tiny living. But this is 450 square feet and the way she opened it up just makes it feel way larger than what it is. The tall ceilings, all the windows, the bright floor and bright walls and everything, that all helps to make the space feel larger. So let's begin this tour right in the main space right here. On the right side, you have your beautiful living space. This is very cozy. You have a couch over here on the right side with these huge windows. You have a coffee table and then you have your fireplace right below your TV. This is the center point of this living room, I think, the focal point and it is a beautiful thing to have a fireplace in your living room, especially in a tiny house. And then you have a really nice coffee chair or reading chair or whatever over here on the right side, right next to your fireplace. And this is just a cozy area to be at and it can see a lot of people. So if you're bringing a couple friends, you can all enjoy your time right here. There is a ladder right here that leads up to your loft. That is my favorite area of this tiny house, but we'll get to that in a second. We'll continue along and you have your grand kitchen space. Now this looks huge, but that's just because it's just all open. You have an L-shaped countertop over here, a small tiny house dishwasher, which is really handy. All of your drawers, they have everything you would need to cook whatever you want or 
prep whatever meals you would want. And they have all of your coffee supplies as well. I made some delicious French press coffee. They provide some coffee from a local roaster, which is really cool as well. You have your sink. And then you got your range over here. I believe this is 24 inch, which is, you know, for tiny houses. <laughs> the countertop is this beautiful wood block and it just blends in and matches the rest of the house. On this backside, you have your fridge and then you have a microwave above that. You might notice this folded up piece of furniture right here. That is actually your dining table. This is the largest folding dining table I have ever seen. You can just stroll it right out into the middle of the floor and you bend up both sides of this dining table and it can seat like six people if it needs to. It's huge. They have a couple of wooden chairs over in the corner for you to pull out and to use and you have now a dining spot to hang out with your family or friends here and then you just fold it up and put it away and keep that tiny house aspect in this with the folding furniture. It's really nice. This door leads to the owner's garage, but it is locked at all times. And then we'll make it into the back area of your tiny house. This is kind of laid out like a container home, I would say. A container home is only eight feet wide, but they made it a lot wider. I believe it's 13 feet wide. So just adding that extra five feet Add so much space, but we'll continue walking back through this sliding door, and now we reach your bathroom space. You have a sink over here on the left side, your vanity, and then you actually have your washer and dryer uh, over here right next to that. It's really nice that they included that. And then over on the left side is your bathroom. You have this huge tiled shower. One thing to note is I love how they added the switch to the shower on the left side and then the actual shower head on the right side so you can turn on your shower and not get wet or anything. That is one thing I did in my home renovation as well because I think it's genius. Anyway, now through the next sliding door is your bedroom. This is a very clean, and bright bedroom. You have your bed in the middle and then all these windows up on the wall. You got a couple nightstands. On this other side, you have a small closet space for your luggage or to hang any clothes. Very practical bedroom. And then that's all on the main level of this tiny house. It is very practical and minimalist. Like I said in the beginning, I would say this is very minimalist style home. But now let's walk out to the living room and we're gonna walk up this ladder that goes through this small opening in the loft. I love this space so much in this ladder. And then you get up into your loft space and then you have two more bunk beds up here. I think this is so cool. I love how the ceiling kind of points up in each of the bunk bed areas and it just makes this spot feel way more cozy than what it should be. This is an awesome loft if you have kids or you're bringing kids or if you just have a couple friends this space they will love this space up here there's tons of storage underneath each of these bed areas and and you got a couple cabinets on the side of the wall that house games or some books to read this spot is definitely my favorite spot i could spend all day up here reading or doing whatever i want now i'm 5'10 so whenever i lay down on this bed it fits me perfectly i would say if you're a tall human you're not gonna enjoy sleeping up here. But we can just walk right back down into the small cubby and we'll make it back out into the living room. And that is your tiny house, the vest. They also have a guest book to where you can read everybody else's experience. So Alexandra from Orlando says, the best Airbnb I've stayed at. It's a big statement. Perfect size for a family of four, very clean and chic, has everything you need, very easy check in and check out. Definitely would stay again. Ashlyn Mason and Shelby say, cutest place ever, a perfect place for us friends to get away and celebrate May's birthday. This will definitely become a tradition for us. Thank you. Couple excerpts and I guarantee you could feel the same way. If you wanna book this place, the link is down below. It is for a very good price and it is in Cleveland, Tennessee, a very awesome area, really close to some cool places that you could go to. And guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in next week's Airbnb tour video.